So we've been working getting the yard cleaned up here for spring as we're getting ready for the season. And one question is when you have a zero turn, now this is the, the new Toro here for 2020. This is the 75 754. Uh, we'll put a link in the description below. But it's a 54 inch uh, deck, a fabricated deck, 24 and a half horsepower machine. But people wonder, can you pull with these? Well, most of the newer zero turns from Toro have got a little hitch assembly or a, a hitch bracket with them. You can either have it on or, or not put it on, depending upon what you want to do. Well, we wanted to go and use this to pull the lawn sweep. Just a, a regular lawn sweep, nothing fancy with it whatsoever. But we had it set up with the hitch so we could go and do the yard. Let me take you over and show you kind of the area in which we were using the sweep. So this is the area of the yard that we went over with the with the sweep. It was a spot where we could have done some raking, and we still have some stuff down in there. There's a few leaves that didn't quite get picked up yet, but overall, the yard looked very similar to what you're seeing under those bushes, where we had leaves pretty much at that consistency. Not enough to be a point to the point of killing the grass, but enough where it was a mess. And just running over it with the sweep has really picked up a lot of tiny branches, leaves, and any other small debris, debris that might have been a problem and would need to be picked up with a rake. So you can kind of see that it really does do a nice job of pulling the sweep around. And one of the neat benefits of this is, yes, it's a zero turn, which means that I can turn on a dime, literally having one wheel go backwards, one wheel go forwards, and I could actually turn pretty much on itself, on, as they say, the dime. That's not good for your, you when you're towing something. But most of the time, you're not turning that way, especially when you're on your, your grass. You're not wanting to turn where you lock up both wheels. I, I found it much easier than I expected. I was thinking, you know, I'm used to that steering wheel when I'm going and pulling things, whether it's the sweep or if it's the, the sprayer. And I was wondering if how good this was. What was neat about it is I could actually go and make a square corner with the device and get the sweep into corners that I typically couldn't do with my steering wheel uh, rider. We have a rear engine rider. It's a rear engine Toro from the 1980s. And that's what we would use to pull the sweep for a number of years here. And now with this, it does a much better job, much quicker to zip down and back. And it allowed us to get into corners that we couldn't get in with the other. So for those of you kind of hemming and hawing, if, it, if you should upgrade and go to the zero turn, I would highly recommend it because it does a fabulous job when it comes to towing things. And again, a little common sense. You can't turn as you as sharp as you could if you were mowing when you want to whip right around. But for again, most of us, if we lock up one wheel and spin, you're going to be digging up the sod and you're not going to want to do that. Once again, we'll put links in the description below. Watch for more videos coming on this as we look at the 54-inch deck here and the whole zero turn from Toro. For more tips and how-to videos, go to WeekendHandyman.com.